Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video I will cover using PT100 thermistors with your SKR boards mainly for Voron but you can apply this method for any other SKR board based setup as long as you have one driver uh, empty, the E1 driver. So yeah, this will allow you to monitor your PT100 in your firmware, in our case Clipper. And yeah, let's get to it. First of all, you will need your PT100 thermistor. For your thermistor, your PT100, you can use any two wire PT100 you want, including the ones from E3D and Triangle Lab. And again, I will link one or two in the description below. You will also need a Max 31865 board. This is normally the originally designed by Adafruit but you can use any other clone I'm personally using a clone and I will link a few in the des description below so if you don't have one you can buy that and lastly you will need DuPont jumper cables you will also need to do some soldering for this project but it's nothing too complicated so without further ado let's get to it firstly we need to prepare the Max 31865 board and for that Firstly, you need to solder the terminal blocks and the pin header. It is obvious enough where they go. Next, you need to bridge uh, some pads. The ones marked with two or three wire and the ones marked two wire, you need to bridge those with solder. I marked the ones on the other fruit board on the screen right now. And on your clone board, they are probably the same as well. And maybe the shape is different, but yeah, otherwise it should be the same. Just jump those with solder. And next, you need to connect your PT100 thermistor wires. We can do this by connecting the cables on either side of the center or the outers, if you prefer, doesn't matter. As long as one of the legs is an F plus and other one is the F minus, it should be fine. And you also need to wire your power for that you need to wire your v in the voltage in to a 5 volt source on your skr board in our case for the voron I, we, i'm using the z plus limit switch one so you can copy that design from the screen uh, moving on we need to tap into the SP, spi bus for the skr board for this, before we do it, we need to make sure the jumpers are in the correct position. So if your jumpers are different, just make sure that the jumper marked on the screen right now with green, that's removed, and the five jumpers that are marked with blue are in. Next, uh, wire your amplifier board to the red side of the E1 motor driver slot and you can see the pinouts of the uh, driver on the screen right now running to the amp port but just make sure that the same letters match on each side on some clone max uh, 31865 boards the order of the spi pins the clock sto sti whatever they are ordered differently it was different from adafruit's original design in my clone board so yeah chances are it will be the case with yours as well so just make sure that you wire them correctly and lastly we need to edit our firmware settings we can do this on our raspberry pi so just ssh into it if you don't know how to ssh into your raspberry pi just click the link tutorial link in the description below and it will take you there just edit your printer.cfg file using nano and under extruder insert the lines that you see on the screen right now also they will be in the description below if you want to copy paste them and then save your changes by pressing ctrl x then y and then enter and then go to octoprint and send the firmware restart command from the console in octoprint and you should see your pt100 thermistor work and get a accurate enough reading and that's it for this video i hope you found it useful i also have a written version of this in the voron uh, voron's official dozuki page so i'll link that in the description as well in case you prefer that and yeah anything you need to buy it's also linked in the description in case you need them and yeah i hope you found this video useful if you did please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching